and welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Radar. Special, Special K. K. I, I know my name. This is Blind Squirrel Peanut Butter Whiskey. Gather your friends and be nutty. That sounds like a normal a normal day for us. Uh, 35% alcohol by volume or 70 proof. It is natural flavor with caramel color, so it is dyed. Um, Naturally. Yeah. It doesn't Naturally say what dyed. kind of whiskey. It's by, bottled by Universal Brands. Don't know who that is. I'm sure Ronald knows who that is. More than Jay. likely. He, uh, he hangs out with the distribution guys a lot. This bottle has been opened. If you've seen our fishing video, you know why it was open. It was torrential downpouring. We were shivering, and we were like, give us the whiskey. So we drank some <laughs> of it. Got to warm up a little bit. Um, so we plan on doing a video of doing the best peanut butter whiskeys overall. We're going to compare all of them. We do oh, have we got a bunch of them, actually. We do. There's about three more we need to do before I feel like we're... We have a good feel of peanut butter whiskeys. Well, then naturally we also have to just sit around a big table with like five glasses of whiskey in front of us and drink from them until we decide which one is best. Uh, uh, so um, this was seventeen dollars a bottle. It's awful. You oily. can smell it from here. That's very oily. Look at how look at how thick that is. You can smell. Was this refrigerated? No. Uh, it's in my truck for a little bit, rolling around. You can. It's dom uh, prominent. I mean, it smells like peanut it smells butter. Like peanut holes. Um, thick peanut butter. So, like, have you ever had a, like, Lance Cracker peanut butter? Like wow. The, 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 where I was like, actually thinking the, uh, you know the, that, that peanut butter we used to get, oh, back in the day, it was, like, super hard. You stick a knife into yeah. it, and if you tried to dig it out, yeah, it would just bend the knife. It's 80% flour. Man. And, like, 10% peanuts. That, act, this smell actually takes me back. Uh, no whiskey, very sweet smelling, a little bit of fake peanut, let's hit it. It does have a little bit of an alcohol sort of bite to it, but more like a like a concentrate, like you know those little bottles of concentrates. So flavor's good. Problem with it though is it is sick and sickingly sick. It's too sickeningly sickeningly sweet. I've been drinking. All right. It is pretty sweet. Um, sweet levels over nine thousand. Couldn't drink this straight. It needs to be mixed with something. So I can already tell you the best solution for this right now. Um, if this was chilled, it would be an easy shot. Oh but yeah, it would still you can be shoot it. One or two shots for would sure. be too much because it's so sweet. Um, not enough whiskey flavor. That's easily remedied by adding your own whiskey to it. I'd re you know I'd add maybe a half shot of whatever you prefer, whiskey or bourbon, in that, and it would probably. It'd have to be fairly hot. You could go with like it. some with like some Maker's Mark. Uh, that's pretty hot. That would dilute it a little bit. Uh, or even, you know, I think that would dilute it down a little bit. It would probably save it a little bit. It's not bad by any means. Like, it, it has good flavor. It's it just, is actually sticky. It's sticky sweet. <laughs> um, that being said, uh, straight. Let me get one more taste in there before I give it a review. Straight, I would have to give it. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll, I'll just mime my, my answer while you give your answer. It's, um, I'm going to give it a 7. I think it's good. I wouldn't say great, but it's good. It, it's It's... It's all right. I will also give it a seven. Um, it's just, it's very sweet. There's plenty of peanut flavor. This will be really good as a mixer. I'm going to call it now. Well, Coke and peanuts do go well together. And so is Coke and... Uh, Should have got RC. I didn't have any. Um, all we drink in this house is, if we no. drink any soda, it's Coke Zero. I just recently found out that RC is, like, not available in most places. Uh, it's pretty available here. Well, yeah, but it's like it's like a it's a purely southern thing. You can't get it up north. You can't get it out west. You know what's impressive? It did not change the scent at all. Nope, this still <laughs> smells. It still smells like peanuts. It smells like peanut butter. The, the the initial flavor. The Coke did nothing to it. That's that's weird, man. Normally you get Coke undertones, but not on this one. It's like nah, I'm staying. I'm staying that peanut butter life. We're gonna have to. Ooh, Harry Hotos. I bet you it would mix super good with some of that Harry Hotos flavors. Hit that. Oh yeah. Still really sweet, but delicious. Uh-huh. I think if it was chilled. Mm -hmm. This is this is gonna be one of the few times that I suggest you actually chill your bur or your whiskey. whiskey. I agree. Uh this definitely needs to be chilled. First of all, it's just so thick. Um I think this was made as an ingredient, not as a drink. I think it's a shooter or it's a mixer. I wouldn't uh, make like sip on it. Mm -hmm. for sure. um, the Coke like adds a little bit of vanilla to it. 
um, and it dilutes it down a little bit. It's still really sweet, uh, but well, the good. Coke itself is pretty sweet. Well, this is Coke Zero, so it doesn't have sugar in it, mm. but it has whatever they put in it. Thevia, probably. Man, it's got stuff. Um, so that being said, uh, I think it's an eight as a mixer. I go with an eight for sure. It is definitely better as a mixer. I, but that sweetness is really, really thick. Aspartame. Mm -mm, aspartame. Delicious, delicious aspartame. Doesn't that give you like some sort of horrible disease or something? Co that Coke has some kind of weird... Uh, yeah, I think I'll give it an eight. It's decent. Um, it needs a lot more. Like it needs to be mixed more than 50-50. This needs to be like the two in the two to five drink that you're making. I'm thinking some cranberry juice with a splash of water. Cranberry juice would probably be tasty. With a splash of water. Or grape uh, juice with a splash of water. Just straight cranberry juice, not the uh, not the mixed kind, because that's really sweet. It's got sugar added as well. You want the uh, the no sugar added cranberry yeah, juice. Yeah, you want tartness to cut through some of the sweetness. Oh man, that would be pretty good. Uh, I like this peanut butter whiskey. I think it's up there with Screwball and some of the better ones that I've had. It's very very smooth. It's very straightforward. It's peanut butter. It's just peanut butter. Yeah, there's not a lot of whiskey flavor in there. I was almost going to say that it's it's also whiskey, but it's really kind of not. You're not getting any wood or barrel or any like, kind of typical whiskey notes. It's kind that. of a it's kind of a peanut butter liqueur. Yeah, if you hunt for it, you might get some caramel on there, but like that's a stretch. It mostly just tastes like peanut butter. I'm going to yeah. be honest. You know what you're getting when you get this product. Yes. And if you want, like I said, I think it's if you're going to sip on it, make, throw it, mix it with some bourbon or something that'll loosen it up. Make it a little less sickening sweet. I would even do it with my mixed drink with my Coke. Throw a splash of bourbon in there. Mm -hmm. Probably be really, really good. Just a little bit. All right. Well, that has been our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on the channel, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to support the channel by checking out our Facebook, Patreon, and Instagram. I'm Special K. And I'm Radar. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.